Okay, Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, I am going to discuss how to solve uh, ODE, ordinary differential equation using MATLAB. Okay, and we will use the solver MATLAB sol solver. MATLAB will solve uh, differential equation numerically. Right? So, your differential equation is dy by dt. This is ordinary, not partial. Okay, so this is d by dt. So, d by uh, d y over dt is function of t and y. Okay, and then uh, if you remember in calculus, if, we, if you solve the differential equation analytically, so uh, analytical solution gives you y as a function of t as an equation. Okay, so if you re uh, revert this, you get like okay d y dt is f t y then you get another function uh, dt as a function of t that's analytical solution for example mm, we have we will cover this this um, example here d y dt is this then we'll solve this using matlab solver the analytical solution if you see this one d y dt equals uh, plus 5 y uh, 0 0.5 y will be equal to this this is this is linear differential equation so applying mass 4 you can get the exact solution that's called analytical solution of this function which is this so you can see y as a function of t that's exact equation in term of equation but when we solve numerically it means that we are not going to get the equation we're going to get a number so how we are going to get a number over t with time okay so initial value problem why because you need to have the initial value at t equals 0 okay d by over dt so the what's the value of y initially so at 0 the y 0 is given so that's that's why it's called the initial value problem now the solver will make its own time step and get the new y so you get the numbers like this and it will depend on from which time span t span you choose from here to here okay so solver uh, in MATLAB we have uh, different type of solver ODE45, ODE23, ODE15S is for a stiff system okay I will come back to this so ODE45, ODE23 these are solver for ODE based on different techniques you are learning uh, in numerical method like RK4 and so on or some of them are combination of two different methods okay so now let's come to this example we have d by dt is 4 exponential 0 0.80 minus 0 0.5 y so this equation we want to solve it using MATLAB okay so very easy and I believe that this is a very useful tool if you know how to solve differential equation using MATLAB uh, you can solve easily the, even in the system of, of ODEs we will come to that after this so now this is the differential equation you need to write like this dy dt at you know function of t comma y and this is this is the equation time span is the interval from where to where you want to solve so t equals 0 it will start from 0 and then go up to 4 depending on the unit and so on okay and this is one line and the second line is this and that's it so t comma y that will be out output it will give at t starting from 0 it will make its own time interval and it will give you y starting from y 0 so in this case y 0 is 2 ODE45 is a built-in solver d by by dt it, this is the function we have defined here the equation of ODE t span we can put here like this or we can put uh, define earlier y0 we have defined it so okay let me write uh, this in m file we just need script okay so dy dt I can say equals now at t comma y okay and the equation now right away 
equation is 4 exponential 0 point 8t 4 times exponential 0 point 8, 8 times t minus 0 0.5 times y 0 0.5 times y that's it now uh, if I want I can define t span 0 to 4 like this y 0 y 0 okay equals 2 that's given to you and then the solver t comma y there is going to be output ODE 4 5 this is a solver okay and then what is the differential equation you want to solve I want to solve the one I define it here dy dt okay t span y 0 so t span already defined so t span comma y 0 already defined and that's it so if I run this one okay I can see in there is air sign ah, t span equal okay that's it yes I got the output in command window you can see it is making its own time interval t equals 0 to 0 0.0335 this is t and y started with value 2 so y 0 was 2 and then this is the one the y with time so if you want to plot in your code you can if you don't want this one as output you want only plot so plot t comma y so you can see that very it's very easy to solve differential equation using MATLAB and here we got the graph this is y this is t okay and if you want Hello. Uh, add x label t y label y okay and here is your graph y and t now uh, plotting this is numerical right so I should not plot like a continuous line this is is giving me the values of y at sorry uh, where is MATLAB yeah so it is giving me the value of y at different t so i should plot this with the data with the bullet uh, bullet points okay so how i can you uh, enter this okay so now if you see plot it will be like this yeah makes sense because it this is true for those points of y so you can see uh, initially it's it's making different time size time interval okay and then it's almost constant so this is numerical values okay given by ODE 45 okay any numerical work you don't know how uh, correct is it how accurate it, it is because this is ODE 45 also a black box for us how it is solving we don't know so always we like to compare your numerical value a numerical result with the analytical result with the exact solution okay so we have t already and uh, in this example we have the exact uh, solution is this y equals 4 over 1.3 this so we can compare this uh, in the plot so what we can do we can say y analytical y a n something like this and that is 4 divided by 1.3 this is what I remember now exponential 0 0.8 0 0.8 times t minus 0 0.5 
minus exponential minus 0 0.5 times t this is the exact solution you will get it when you solve it by calculus method Okay, and uh, this is the equation with type 2 into 5 with this uh, is 2, not here we need one bracket. Okay, yeah, so this was for our 1.3 and this all together, this one all multiply by this. So now we have uh, y analytical. Okay, uh, how to uh, compare? Uh, we can plot all together. Okay, I will take it here. This is y t, comma y. This is with circuit. O point data a circle as bullet then I can introduce T same T but Y analytical Y A N so this is as you can see this is an equation so this is true for all time all value of T so I will put it <coughs> or we can see right away okay let's let me use a different uh, S S for square bullet so a square one will be analytical and circle one will be numerical okay and then let us run this and see you can see all are on the same points it means that analytical solution uh, is same as numerical okay if you want you can add the legend legend okay first one is numerical so numerical solved by which method ODE 45 so I can say ODE ODE 45 this is the solver I used and this the second one is analytical analytical you can write full okay and then let me run and you can see yes ODE 45 and this is an article okay so this is where uh, we solve now uh, ODE one ODE at one time uh, in the next video I am going to solve system of ODE I don't want to make this video very long okay so now I, I hope you understood this one and system of ODE will be very similar we will add the differential equations okay so thanks for watching and we'll come back.